Hello, everybody. My name is Gothic Cowplants, and welcome back to Pleasant View. So, last episode, we played the Pleasant family and finished up all their scripted events. I don't know why Lilith is bald, but there she is. And in today's episode, we are actually going to be playing one of the Bin families. They're not in here because I already moved them in, but we are going to be playing the Oldie family. I moved them in here at 95 Woodland Drive, and I went ahead and renovated their house and put all their furniture in and set them up for gameplay. So their bio reads, the oldies are simply one of the nicest families around. Their years together through good and bad have made, have made them into the wonderful parents and grandparents they are today. So I hope you all will enjoy this episode. Please leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more content like this. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. Okay, so this is the house that I moved them into. I gave it a pretty big makeover, but it's the one on 95 Woodland Drive that originally it has like this massive two-story window here. Um, but I went ahead and gave the house a little makeover. I put a, I put a greenhouse here for Herb since he loves to garden. And then they have a nice little backyard area. Um, I'm not too sure how I feel about, like, the windows and the door, but honestly, I couldn't find anything better, so I'll probably just leave it. Um, I did some landscaping over here, which I'm not sure how I feel about either. Um, but then inside, I wanted it to look like old people live here, which I think I did a pretty good job with. Um, yeah, so it's a two-bedroom house, one bathroom. Their bedroom is pretty plain because there's just no room in here for anything, really. Um, but they do have a spare bedroom here, which is good because I think we're going to be having them adopt a child. So if you don't know, the oldies are the adoptive parents of Mary Sue Pleasant. They, I think the, like, storyline with them is that they were struggling with infertility and decided to go ahead and adopt a child um, that child being Mary Sue and now Mary Sue has grown and has kids of her own obviously but Herb here is a romance sim he is very much well the oldies in general are very much a traditional family he went to work and coral stayed home and raised the kids or the kid um but now he's retired so he has more time to partake in his hobby which is gardening and nature in general but yeah herb is a romance sim who has somehow managed to stay faithful to his wife coral for all these years um who knows if that may change while we're playing them I guess we'll find out. But I went ahead and gave him the secondary aspiration of family. And I didn't feel that he really needed any of the romance tree. So I went ahead and gave him the needs tree and grandma's comfort soup just because I had an extra point. Um, let's see. He is a retired executive level five in the business career. And I went ahead and gave him a degree to mirror that. So he has a degree in economics. Um, and as you can see here, he wants to get like a lot of different jobs, but I don't think I'm going to have him get a job. I mean, he's retired for a reason. But let's see here. He is a Libra. He's very sloppy, very outgoing, very lazy, very playful, and a little bit more nice than he is grouchy. His bio reads, if being a crafty businessman, loving father, and reasonable and reasonably reliable husband takes a lot of energy, then Herb Oldie has led an exhausting life. He is interested in entertainment, culture, food, health, travel, and weather. Um, his one true hobby isn't showing here yet, but I know that it is nature. Um, he has all of the just basic memories. Um, his turn-ons and turn-offs don't matter because we're going to randomize those. And the only people in his relationship panel are his family and his son-in-law, Daniel, who he 
doesn't really get along with that well. Um, but yeah, that's Herb. Oh, and I went ahead and gave him a little makeover, too. Well, I guess not really a makeover, because he doesn't really look much better. <laughs> but I gave him a different hair and some different glasses. And I think it looks better than the default replacements that I had for his base game hair. But anyway, moving on to Coral. This is Coral here. She is a family sim. Um, she does not have a college degree and she's never had a job because she is a very traditional um, wife and mother. Her job was to stay at home and raise the kids and Herb was the main breadwinner of the household. But I kind of have this headcanon with Coral that she kind of regrets that and she raised Mary Sue and pushed Mary Sue to always you know, work hard and don't just rely on a man to pay the bills. You know, you should go out and follow your own dreams and pursue your own career goals. And that's why I think Mary Sue is so career focused and she kind of puts her family to the side um, because I think Coral kind of regrets not being able to do the same or not being able to, at the very least, you know, kind of have a life outside of being a wife and a mother. Um, her sim bio reads, As the picture of maternal perfection, Coral has raised a successful, beautiful daughter, but at what price? Um, she is very neat, pretty shy, pretty active, a little more serious, and a little more nice. Uh, she is interested in food, entertainment, culture, travel, and that's it. We don't know her hobby yet, but I made it arts and crafts because I like her to get into the, what is this called? The sewing machine thing. I like her to do that. Um, she has the basic memories. Her turn-ons and turn-offs don't matter. Um, she is unemployed, obviously. And her relationship panel is the same as her husband's. She just knows her family and her son-in-law. And her wants, she wants to actually obtain a pet, which we can probably have them adopt a pet. I don't see why not. But I think the first thing I want to have them do is, well, first off, he wants to flirt with Coral, so we'll have him do that. I don't know, go caress her. Um, and they'll chat a little bit. But I do want them to adopt a child this episode and he wants to obtain a pet too so we'll definitely get a pet for them but i do want them to adopt a child because i mean we do have this spare bedroom and plus there's just not a whole lot to do with them um, neither of them have jobs or anything like that i'm thinking of having coral like maybe start a business but before we do that We'll have them adopt. We'll have them adopt a child. Um, we have this spare bedroom. I guess this was Mary Sue's old bedroom. Uh, they're not getting along over here. I don't know what's going on. But I am going to have... Normally the thing that you do is you have Bo Broke end up with the oldie's adopted daughter or son, whoever you decide to adopt for them. But I think that I'm going to have Bo wind up with Tessa Ramirez from Blue Water Village. So, I don't know if... Ruby Broke, who's the new baby Broke that was born, she doesn't have any, mat any potential matches yet. So we could adopt a son for them, but I kind of like the idea of them just, like, having girls. So maybe I'll just, I think what I'll do is just adopt a girl for them, and we can just incorporate her into Pleasant View. She doesn't necessarily have to member, have to member? She doesn't necessarily have to marry any of the current members of Pleasant View, is what I was trying to say. But... I think that's what we'll do, and we'll just see what happens. So they can finish talking a little bit. 
will pretend that they're talking about, you know, how they are considering adopting a new child. And then we'll have Herb come over here and I think it's call a service. Um, Coral wants to make a friend, gain a cleaning skill point, and meet someone new. Um, I don't really know what she can do. She can come over here and study cleaning, I guess. Alright, let's call the adoption service. I don't know what it's supposed to be saying here. I guess it's asking if I'd like to adopt a child. The answer is yes. All right, congratulations. Your request to adopt has been approved. We are all confident that you'll make a great parent. <laughs> and she says, I'll come by shortly to drop off your new family member. I have the same day adoption mod. Um, in the base game, or in the vanilla game, they usually wouldn't drop an adopted child off until I think it's like 10 a.m. the next morning. Um, but I went ahead and downloaded this mod so that we could get our adopted child now. So yeah, hopefully they'll be arriving soon. Our newspaper delivery lady is here. And I also downloaded the mod where you can choose like the characteristics of your adopted child. You can choose um, gender, skin tone, all of that. Okay, here we go. That special day has arrived. Please select your adoption preference. So we're just going to do custom because I don't really want a townie. Um, I want a child. I want a girl. Um, please choose skin color. I don't really care about this, so I'm just going to randomize. One through three and whatever. Whatever I roll on is the one that we'll choose. Oh, okay, well, it chose for itself, so that's fine. Um, but we got a child named Brenda. Okay, so this is Brenda Oldie. She's wearing a very interesting outfit. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Is anybody going to come greet us? Herb's coming over. Oh. Herb's coming over to give her a hug. Um, Coral, put that book down and come meet your new child. You can look at her. Alright, this is... Oh, she looked at me right as I said that. That's creepy. Um, this is Brenda Oldie. Uh, she is... She's cute. She's definitely very distinct looking. Um, but I do think she's cute, so, you know, I guess we'll see what she looks like when she ages up. Um, let's get a look at her here. She is an Aquarius. I, f I think all adopted children are Aquariuses. I feel like every child I've ever adopted in this game has been an Aquarius, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, she wants to buy toys, make a friend. Oh, she wants to buy a lemonade stand. We can buy her a lemonade stand. We've got money. I left them with like 3,500 simoleons. But anyway, she is an Aquarius. She's a little more sloppy, a little more shy, a little more lazy. Very playful and pretty nice. She is interested in animals and school and sports and kind of entertainment don't know her hobby and she doesn't have any memories yet. She is a C student in public school and all she knows so far are her new parents. Oh, well there goes the social worker. She's dancing together with Herb. Let go so that- what? Come say hello to Coral. Herb's hogging the new kid. Come here. We're gonna have her come up and hug her. Watch her reject her. Watch her reject this hug. Okay, there we go. Oh, and she just made a friend. She made a friend with Herb. Um, and now 
she wants to invite someone over. I don't know who, we don't have anyone to invite over. Um, she wants to buy toys, buy a lemonade stand. Um, I can do all of that. Coral wants to be friends with Brenda. So we'll have them chat a little bit. What are you doing? Herb is going to come over here and play SSX3. Whatever, Herb. Alright, I think... Yeah, they just became friends. I'm going to have Coral come over here and use the restroom. And then I think what we'll do is we'll go out to... That is so loud, Herb. We'll go out to town to the Pleasant View clothing store and we'll buy some clothes for Brenda. Um, and I'll make over her bedroom and everything as well. They're obsessed. All right, they're already obsessed with this computer. All right, but she seems to be getting along well with everybody so far. So that's good. We will adopt a kid today, and then tomorrow, I guess, we'll adopt a pet. Or maybe we can get one while we're out today. All right. Take Brenda to school. We're not going to bring her to school today. Let's see. 330 Main Street. We're going to go to the local boutique. And I bought them this car. Um, it looks like an older car with like the wood paneling on the side. This is just one of the cars that came with the game. Oh, there's a dog here now. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's happening? Some visitors have arrived to welcome you to the neighborhood. Okay, I'm going to clear them off the lot. Uh, well, I can't because we're leaving. But when we get back, if they're still here, I'll clear them off the lot because I, I feel like the oldies have lived here for like years and years. So I don't know why. That's kind of always been a thing that bothers me is their family bio says that they've lived here for years, but they're in the bin. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. But we're going to go ahead and head to the clothing store and pick out some new clothes for Brenda, give her a little makeover, and then I guess we'll head back home and see what we can do there. Okay, so we are at the little boutique in Pleasant View. I'm sure anybody who has played Pleasant View recognizes this place. Um, and we are just going to get some clothes for Brenda. And they all love to come upstairs in this lot and look at one of the sinks in the bathroom. I don't know why they do that, but they like always do. But we are not going to have them do that. Um, you can come inside and, uh, well, all she can do is try on clothes. That's fine. Here, she can actually, you can come swing on the playground. And we'll have Coral come inside and pick her out some clothes. We'll probably need to get her, like, everything. Herb is going to come over here and sit. Here's Darren Dreamer. He was just at our lot. Welcoming us to the neighborhood. Oh, and he thinks he thinks Coral is hot. Okay, that's a little bit weird, Darren. Whatever. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see that. Or I'm having Coral come in here and buy some clothes for... What's her name? Brenda. And Bo Broke is actually here. So I know I said I was going to have Bo... Um, pair up with Tessa Ramirez, but, you know, I'm gonna have her actually come over here and greet him, and we'll see. I mean, obviously, they're just kids right now, but we'll see if they get along. Peter Sims is in here greeting Coral. I don't, I don't want to talk to you. Um, but I'm just gonna buy everyday PJs and outerwear for Brenda, because we don't really need, I mean, when are we gonna need her to be in her formal wear. 
Okay, Brenda's out here meeting Bo. Okay, out here meeting Bo. Have them chat a little bit. Oh, he, I don't think he's interested. Uh, already he's not interested. Alright, well tell him a joke. He does not want to talk about robots. What are you doing? He's gonna come greet Sandy Broody. I'm not gonna have him do that because I don't trust him. Herb is a gross... Herb is just kind of a gross old man. <laughs> I know he's supposed to be like this wholesome grandfather, but I just don't get those vibes from him. Alright, Bo and Brenda are out here. They're not really getting along already. What? Sandy... Broody is coming over here, like, desperate to tell Herb a joke with her hot pants. I guess you can talk to her. You know what? If he wants to have an affair with Sandy Broody, then he can have an affair with Sandy Broody. That's not my business. There are so many people here. Okay, no. This strange man is going to come up and talk to her. Okay, they're getting along now. Darren's still in over here, still over here, just swooning over Coral. And Nina Caliente is over here playing on the swings. That's cute, actually. Herb's talking about oil. He's talking about the environment with Sandy Broody. Who he just met. I hate how they always come up to greet you. In this game. Like you, you'll be at a public lot. And they will just come up. And just. Like talk your ear off. I don't know why they do that. Alright. Let's see. Why don't you play tag with Bo? Okay, so Coral already bought the outerwear outfit. I was waiting over here for nothing. Okay. All right, this is why I don't leave Herb to his own devices. Because he's over here pushing freaking Nina Caliente on the swing. That's just not appropriate. <laughs> Stop that. Alright, so now I think we can go ahead and have everybody head home. Brenda's playing with Bo, but that's enough. Alright, we're gonna have everybody head home before Herb starts having an affair with Nina. And here, everybody's coming to greet us. They're chasing us to our car, trying to come say hello. Oh, Herb's getting in the back seat. Oh, he's not in there. I don't know where he is. He climbed in the back seat. Coral told him to get. Coral told him to get in the back after she saw him pushing Nina Caliente on the damn swing set. Okay, everybody's still here. But I'm going to clear them off the lot because, like I said, I think it's weird that they... <sighs> I think it's weird that they would be... You know, coming to introduce us to the neighborhood if we've lived here for like 25 years, but whatever. Okay, so we're going to have Brenda come over here and change her appearance. Okay, so I'm putting a new hairstyle on Brenda. And I just wanted you guys to see up close what she looks like. Um, this is her. She has huge eyes. She's very cute as a child. I'm a little nervous for how she'll look when she ages up. But this is her so far. She's a pretty cute kid. Um, and I guess we'll see how she turns out when she ages up. Okay, she likes her makeover. This dog is outside barking at me even though he doesn't live here. All right, but I'm going to have her come over here and plan her outfits now. You can chase off this damn dog. You can leave if you're going to stand here and bark. Um, he's going to come watch spooky movie. No, you can come. 
plant some tomatoes, Herb. She's going to walk all the way through the house in order to get to this wardrobe. Okay, so this is the outfit that I gave Brenda for her everyday wear. It's just a cute little sweater dress with a bunny on it and some leggings. Um, and then her PJs are just regular PJs and she has a little green coat for her outerwear. So she's all made over. And now, let's see. Well, you want cleaning and cooking. Which I actually would not mind her having either of those skills. So she, she can come study some cooking. And tomorrow, I think... We can invite someone over. Yeah, we'll invite someone over for her, maybe. So Brenda here wants to be swung around, invite someone over, gain a skill point, and play with Coral. Um, I don't know what skill point she could gain. Well, I guess I could, I should probably buy her like some toys or something. <laughs> Um, there's like nothing for her to do. I'm gonna have her come outside and play. Okay, and her received a pension check for 200 simoleons. He only gets 200 simoleons a day, so that's a little bit concerning. <laughs> right, we're gonna have her jump rope and see if maybe fitness is her hobby. Which I guess it isn't because she hasn't said anything about it. Herb is in here planting his tomatoes. And I was thinking since Brenda wants to invite someone over, I think what we'll do is have Coral cook dinner and maybe we'll invite Mary Sue and the twins over. Um, I'm gonna have to fix this table. Um, we'll invite Mary Sue and the twins over and they can meet Brenda. Okay, I had Brenda come over here and hunt for bugs, and we found out that her hobby is nature. So she's just like her dad, her hobby is nature, so she can help out in the garden and stuff. She's hunting for bugs out here, that's fine. Alright, and Coral has gained a cooking skill point. Oh, she caught a poke beetle. That's fun. All right, let's see here. We'll have Coral go ahead and make some spaghetti. I'm actually gonna sell this centerpiece in the table too so that they can use the table. Um, and we'll have Herb invite over Let's see, call Sam. Call Mary Sue and invite the household. They can all come. They, they're all invited, but hopefully she doesn't bring Daniel. All right, Mary Sue is coming over to meet her new sister. And I guess Herb is just gonna lie on the damn couch. No, you're not gonna take a bath right now. Okay, here, here everyone is. So Herb, Come get up and greet everyone. The girls are probably going to spend the whole time beating the hell out of each other. Oh, who did she just think was attractive? Alright. Very cha- okay, already very chaotic because they can't reach the table. Fantastic. Um, everybody... 
Let's see here. Come greet your new sister. Oh, okay. Daniel and Mary. Mm -mm. Okay, we're not. No, we're not going to do that. No. Argue with him. Come argue with him. Stay away from Lilith. We're going to stick up for Lilith. He's like, you're not going to come in my house and scream at my granddaughter. Lilith is out here throwing a tantrum. Nina. Nina Caliente came by. She came to look for the guy who pushed her on the swing in the park and she sees this happen and she's just like, oh hell no, I'm not getting involved with this. Alright, Angela is... She was over here crying. I don't know what... I don't know what the hell that was. Okay, and Brenda and Mary Sue are not getting along, so that's fantastic. Oh, and Coral thinks that Daniel's hot. Alright. Perfectly functional family. And here comes Mary Sue coming over here to poke somebody. Lilith, I presume. Angela's running outside. This is not going according to plan. Okay, we can't even have a nice family dinner. Really? I mean, the Mary Sue and Daniel are abusing their children, as always. Angela's outside screaming about something. I mean, seriously. Okay, we can't even have a nice family dinner with these people. I swear to God. Come over here and scream at Daniel. We're not going to let Daniel treat Lilith like that when we're here. Uh-uh. Lilith... Lilith might un end up moving in with us. Because this is just a little bit much. We might have to... Oh my god. Okay. Jesus. They're all ganging up on her. This is ridiculous. She's like, that is not peaceful. Okay. They're all running outside crying. My god. Well, I'm glad that... I'm glad that this has gone according to plan. Be upset. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, this is... You know what? Let's go ahead and... <laughs> we'll just go ahead and say goodbye to everyone. Yeah, it's fine. We'll try this again some other time. <laughs> just everybody get the hell out of here. Alright, well... That was great and not at all traumatizing for anybody. Poor Brenda out here just discovered <laughs> what kind of a hot mess she's gotten herself into. I put away the damn spaghetti. Why is that on the floor? Alright, let's look at everybody's relationships now. Alright, well, we're not getting along too well with Daniel, obviously. She has two bolts with Daniel. <sighs> that is just so... Ugh. Just so uncomfortable. Alright, he wants to talk to Brenda, so you can come talk to Brenda. He's gonna be like, yeah, sorry that everybody is dysfunctional and horrible. I mean, Mary Sue and Daniel really couldn't even play nice with Lilith for like 30 minutes while they were here. I mean, really. It's pathetic. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give Brenda's room a little bit of a makeover and I'll be back when I do that. Okay, so I went ahead and gave Brenda's room a little bit of a makeover. Um, I just changed her bedspread and gave her, like, some more kids' paintings and stuff and gave her a toy box. And she also wanted a lemonade stand earlier in the day, so I went ahead and bought her one of those. So now she actually has some stuff to do. So that'll be good for her. And Coral, I don't know. What do you want? Gain a cleaning skill point. You can come clean the counter. Herb, come turn the computer. He's gonna go look at the lemonade stand. Mm. 
coral stinking herb is hot. Maybe, maybe she likes him almost as much as she likes Daniel. Okay, so it is five in the morning and both Coral and Herb have been up for a while. Um, she went ahead and made breakfast and they ate. Um, Brenda is still asleep, but she's about to wake up soon. Um, it is her first day of school today and while she's gone, I think we'll go ahead and adopt a pet. I think I'm going to get them a cat because I think that they would be cat people more so than dog people. Um, but yeah, Brenda's waking up now. She wants to sell lemonade. Which actually that's good because I want her to be able to use that lemonade stand. Herb is over here telling a dirty joke to Cor- Oh! Did they just fall out of love over that joke? You're serious? Come over here. And be nice to your wife. I don't know why you're so desperate to say things to her that she doesn't like. Boy. What are you doing? Last She's gonna go play. She can do whatever, I don't care. Alright, no, I, you don't need to congratulate him on anything. You know what you can do is come take care of your freaking garden. Alright, so a school bus is going to be here in an hour to take Brenda to her first day of school. I don't what are you watching? It's very loud. Turn it off. Coral wants to gain another skill point. Um, you can come study cooking. She might as well get good at cooking because somebody in this house has to make food for us to eat. Herb is tending to his plants outside. Alright, and the school bus is here. Brenda is going to go ahead and go. Alright, so Coral just gained another cooking skill point. Um, and let's see here. Now she wants to reach cooking level 4. Which, yeah, I mean, she can do that, but for right now, what I actually want to have her do is call a service, and we're going to adopt a pet. Okay, so we're going to get this cat named Allegra, <laughs> but instead of Allegra, I'm going to name her Marmalade. Yes, I want to adopt her. Alright, and the cop says, I don't know why the cop is the one delivering the pets, but she says that she'll be by right away to adopt our new pet. Which means that we need to buy supplies for her. Okay, I went ahead and bought some supplies for the cat. I just bought a litter box, a scratching post, um, and food bowl, and some toys. And here she is. Okay, and we just got our want fulfilled to adopt a pet. And now she wants to be friends with Marmalade, and they both want to earn or learn a bunch of skills. All right. Herb is coming outside to get the kitten. And there she is. Pets in this game are so cute. But she's just a kitten, and she will age up in one day. So when Brenda gets home from school, she'll have a surprise waiting for her. But I think that is going to do it for this episode. Um, we had two adoptions and a horribly chaotic and traumatizing family dinner with the Pleasant family. Not surprising. I hope that you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more content like this. Um, I'm thinking of also dabbling in some Sims 3 content because that's the game that I grew up with and it's the one that I remember the most fondly. So let me know if that's something that you would like to see as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. 
I appreciate it very much, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.